In lesson 6.1, you'll show students small connectable cubes called snap cubes. Each student group will get four snap cubes of any color, and the idea is to arrange them into different shaped objects. So you'll first show students how the object that you're holding is just one long stick of cubes, but you can take one cube off and make an L, for instance. And then you'll ask students to make as many different shapes as they can. The idea is that students will realize that many different shapes can be created from a small set of cubes. Let's take a look. So you're given a set of eight different cards. These are for you to show students as they come up with their different objects. So you can show them a regular stick, basically, and then an L shape. And then you can go around the room, and as students come up with the different shapes or different objects, by rearranging cubes, you can post the card that matches that shape so that each group will see all the different shapes. And there's a total of eight different objects or shapes that students can make from just four cubes. After student groups have come up with the eight different objects and you've shown them by posting the cards up in the classroom, you can give each student five cubes of any color, it doesn't matter, and each student gets a card with a different shape. Now for five cubes, there are 29 different possible combinations. It would be extremely hard for one student or even a group of students to come up with all 29. So in this case, you can give students a card that depicts the shape they need to make, they make it with their cubes, and then you can collect all the different shapes in one place in the classroom and look at them. It's pretty amazing that only five cubes, rearranged in different ways, can make 29 different shapes. You can take this activity a step further and talk to students about how these little snap cubes can be models of atoms, that atoms are the smallest pieces that everything is made of, whether it's a solid, a liquid, or a gas, they're all made up of atoms. And you can show students an animation that uses snap cubes as models of atoms. So you can introduce young students, second graders, to the concept of atoms, that everything in the world is made up of atoms, even the point of their pencil. And even if you crushed the point of your pencil as small as you possibly could, atoms are way, way smaller than that. You can suggest to students that one of the ingredients in their pencil point is carbon, and that atoms of carbon are connected together to make the material in the pencil, but that they're so, so small that you can't possibly see them. So a black snap cube could be a model of a carbon atom, and all you would need to do is hook a lot of black snap cubes together, and that would be a model of the material carbon, the stuff in the pencil point. And you can use snap cubes in other ways to model other atoms and molecules. So for example, here's some water, and these are water molecules. You could tell students that a molecule is made up of two or more atoms. And here, a water molecule is made up of an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. And we can use snap cubes to model a water molecule. A white snap cube could be a hydrogen, a red snap cube could be an oxygen, and if you put one oxygen atom with two hydrogen atoms, in a certain way, it looks like a water molecule. So, so far we've seen solid carbon and liquid water, and now we could look inside a balloon and see the molecules in there. Now, in this case, we're just showing the carbon dioxide inside the balloon. When you breathe out, you breathe out some oxygen, some carbon dioxide, some nitrogen, but we're just concentrating on the carbon dioxide here, and we see that a carbon dioxide molecule is made up of a carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So we can model that also using snap cubes. If we take that black snap cube that was carbon and red snap cube that's oxygen and put them together in a line, that's a model of carbon dioxide. So you can use snap cubes to model the different substances that are around us, whether it's carbon in a pencil point or water in a water molecule or carbon dioxide in the air as a gas. You could put snap cubes together and make a solid carbon, liquid water, and carbon dioxide gas.
In the extend part of the lesson, you could explain to students that atoms are sort of like the letters in the alphabet, that atoms can be arranged in different ways to make many, many different types of molecules. It's similar to the way letters in the alphabet can be arranged and rearranged to make many different words. You only have a limited number of letters, 26, but you can make thousands of different words. And with atoms, there's only about 100 different atoms, but they can be arranged and rearranged in many different ways to make millions of different molecules. So for fun, you could give students an anagram sheet where one word is given, for instance, in the upper left-hand corner, dear, and then two of the letters are placed down at the bottom in the right order, and that students have to choose the two remaining letters from the word dear to place below to make a new word that uses the same letters in dear but rearranged. So in this case, the only two letters available are E and D. And if students think about it, they can put the E after the R and the D after the A, and they turn dear into read. They can do that for each of the words. They'll begin to realize that just like letters can be rearranged to make new words, atoms can be rearranged to make new molecules. For the NGSS standard 2 PS1 4, make observations to construct an evidence based account of how an object made of a small set of pieces can be disassembled and made into a new object. Well, lesson 6.1 supports that standard because students use four snap cubes and five snap cubes and arrange them in different ways to make many different objects. They also begin to understand that a small object like a snap cube can be used as models of atoms and can be arranged in different ways to make models of molecules. If you look at the foundation boxes, for science and engineering practices, constructing explanations and designing solutions, in this case students are introduced to the idea of models that the snap cubes can be models of atoms and can be put together to make molecules, and that atoms and molecules make up everything around us, solids, liquids, and gases. For disciplinary core ideas, structure and properties of matter, that many different objects can be built up from a small set of pieces, well, this is what students do in the activity. They use four snap cubes or five snap cubes to make many different objects. And for cross-cutting concepts, energy and matter, objects may break into smaller pieces and be put together into larger pieces or may change shapes. Again, students get the idea that this is a fundamental idea for the study of matter, that these very small pieces, atoms, combine in many different ways to make molecules that make up everything around us, all the solids, liquids, and gases that they experience every day. So thanks for watching and listening, and good luck with the lesson.